right, trendsetters, we're ready to roll. Ye old temperature gauge. So you're driving the car, we're living right at the moment, it's the middle of winter, it's 14, 15 degrees centigrade in the middle of the day, so it's quite cool. But dashboard's telling us we're running at about 45 degrees centigrade. On the coldest part of our drive back from Melbourne, we got down to about 38 degrees centigrade, which means it must have been, I don't know, we'll say six degrees outside. As you may or may not know, this little knob that sits under the left-hand side external mirror is your temperature job. And that's where the temperature's taken to tell you on the centre console what temperature it is outside. Some manufacturers put it up the front, but Renault put it there. Great. Okay, so, went down the backyard. I've got the 172 in iceberg silver. This is what we call it over here. I don't know what you guys call it. You can post in, let me know. But the 172 I, that we brought back, I call Royal Blue. Again, post in, tell me I'm wrong, but we'll call it that. Now, what we have to do today is get ye old icebergy silver cover off our left-hand side door mirror. Once we've done that, we know how to do it, and I'll show you how it's done. Then we can do the blue side, do the swap of the internals, put the cover back on, no dollar, zero dollar spent. Now, I didn't bring my usual set of power tools. I'm trying to do this with what you guys might have in your house at home. Don't use your mother's good cutlery. Okay, see that's coming away a little bit. There we go. There we go. So, just starting at that bottom edge. We start where people can't see when they walk up to your car. Alright? So remember, the first rule of when you scratch, scratch your car, you can't unsee the scratch. That's what I always say. Right, so you've got that under there. You see that, guys? Starting to get this away. Again, don't want to rush it. Let's go back to this side. Hear that click? It's a positive click. Again, you've got to remember, this stuff's old. Pop! You've done it! Now... Here is your sensor wired into this harness here. So although you could pull the sensor out, you could play around, you can pluck it out. Look, your call and what you do. But you know, see that? You got all this wiring, you got one's going to the electric motors, probably one running to a heater to keep the frost from building up, and one going to this little tiny sensor that's buried in the bottom there. So just a lot easier, extract it, clean it, swap this cover over. All right guys, there you go, next shot, I'll be out there, we am pulling this off the side of the door and doing the same again, chucking this on, plugging it in, see if we get the right temperature. If we don't, throw this one in the bin and wait for the next one. Cheers. Woody's gonna whip off the, uh, the, the cover there, gently. Can you go and grab those tools I had on the front? The knife. All right, guys, so I was talking about this temperature thing. Let's check it out. Look at that. Zoom in on there. Because we're in wide angle here, Ross. Do we want to be in wide angle? Why not? Oh, no, it's just a lot of... Yeah, okay. So you got the 45 degrees on the dash. I can tell you that it's about 15. So we're about 30 degrees out. All right. So we're going to come back here. So we'll shut this down again. All right, we're off. All right, so now Woody's unplugged the thing. We're going to take... No, don't take it off, mate. Just plug it into this other light, this other mirror. So we're just going to do a bench test here, hopefully. Let's 
turn it around 180 degrees. There you go. Is it in? It's in. Okay, so he's got it plugged in. So I'm going to fire this puppy up. Hey, we're at 19 degrees outside. Check it out. So now let's just check the uh, mirror works. Looking at, turn it towards us. Alongside. Yep. Works. Okay, we've got some mirror action. Interestingly enough, the switch is backwards. Back to front, and I think I know why. Because I might have put that in backwards. Anyway, all right, so we've got a functioning mirror with a good temperature gauge. Now all we're going to do is fit it. All right. So, Woody's just going to undo these three bolts. Eight mil. Eight mil. Yep. I'll hold the million dollar mirror. It's just the There's three. another one there. No, uh, yeah. pop the bung out. No, don't scratch it. You should be able to get it with your fingers. All that, use that plastic. Where are the cards? There. Huh, now I'm just breaking the plastic. Yeah. Is it plastic bung or a rubber it's bung? Rubber plastic. It's typical rubbish. Yeah, just give me that thing again. Hold this. Take the video. Bing. Catch the million dollar mirror. Yep, keep going. Just gonna catch this so we don't end up breaking and marking the our royal blue. So this was our factory one. We do is take that bit of rubber. Grab us our new one, Woody. We have the oh, it has the phone. Yeah, oh, the phone was missing. Cool. That phone's there. Let's just have a look at the date codes. Ah, oh, you can't read them. Yeah, no, no information there, Peter. Feed this through. Rocking in. Don't over tighten them or they'll crack. Don't under tighten them or they'll rattle loose. It's good. Ooh. It's good. Alright. We've installed the mirror. And Woody's going to go over and fix that other bit while I go and extract the uh, blue cover off this one. So, what we're about to do. This is our ice, this is our royal blue door mirror, and we need to take the cover off. So we fixed, do a straight swap on the door mirror. We've now got all the electrics working, we've got the right temperature gauge going on. We've got to do a bit of a resto, but no big hassle there on the on this faded black plastic. Put this off to the side. So I've got the same set of key tools here. I'm going to clean it. There's a bit of that bitching nice rubbish. Put all over our tools. So we've got our plastic. We've got our kitchen knife. Let's get crack a lacking. So last time I did it, this is where my point, my challenge point was at this one. So I'm just going to start here. So what you do is you smash the window like you've just cleaned up a car as you're going down the street and it's going folded back. That's your starting point. Need a bit of a lift there. We've got that going on. Grab your plastic. See this one's this one's not as ancient. Like you've got to understand. So this one was a Sydney car, 
and the other one, my other shell, was originally a Brisbane car, so it's been a lot of its life in Brisbane. Again, cockroach is coming out. Now, what I like to do is get the credit card and the mirror and chop these cockies up. Oh, it's gone. Look like a germ. All right, so we're working that back. Everything's coming apart beautifully on this one because it's a much better car. Oh, look at that. What a pop. Pops out beautifully. Okay, so now we've got our little blue cover. It's got to go back on the car again. Maybe I broke it, maybe I didn't, but I don't think I did. It's just a weird looking colour. I'm just going to go and uh, push this up. I'm going to show you something that's really interesting. Well, a bit boring, but let's look at it anyway. Here we have our return to service one. Yeah, it's actually broken another clip off. So it'll have three clips and a bit of a surround to hold it on. If it really gets stuck, mate, Sicker Flex, the favourite. Do the old Sicker. Let's put this out of our picture shop. All right, so what we're just looking at here is our part numbers. Now, interestingly enough about part numbers is they'll often give you a bit of information and a bit, of a bit about the date code. Um, and then they also have this little hatching here, all right? And I'm no specialist engineer, but I know that every time you pull a mold out and start molding some junk again, your job is to punch out this. So you know how many times that particular mold's been used. So what I like to do is just get a bit OCD here, have a little bit of a look, see how far we can go down, and when this was made, when this mold was used to manufacture it. So I can see we've got about an 0112 was the last one. Oh no, there you go, there's a punch there for 02. And it looks like a six or nine months. I'm gonna say six months. So they use this mold six months, 02. If I grab this one, have a look. No, different mold. This one was molded uh, from a mold that was last used in the first month of 02. So there you go. But do we think there's gonna be an issue fitting them? No. Can we say that they're not off the same production at the same time? Yes. So if you're a purist in the years to come, trying to restore these quality loving vehicles, what you might do is go out and make sure if you really want to be sure it was so pure, you could pull both of these off and have a look at them all. Yeah, we're not going to do that. What we're going to do now is we're going to pop this puppy back on. Job done. Crack on with another beer. Okay, so we've got our Royal Blue Mirror. We've got our free parts bin car side mirror with an operating thing. Now this is the great thing is we've had to cut and do any soldering or anything like that. We've undone three nuts, undone one clip, pulled the cover off. Now we're just going to line it up and clip, clip. I think we're happy with that. She ain't going anywhere. If you weren't happy or it went on and you felt a bit loose, go and get a little tube of Sikaflex, small as you can, put on a few Bontap points, bang it on, it'll never come off. 